There are a few ways we can improve the basic PID control algorithm, and let's take a look at a few of them. So here in this line, we're calculating the derivative of the error. And if there's any noise at all in our sensor reading uh, routine, so for instance, we might have some noisy sensor, or maybe there's some quantization that leads to very rough readings, then any noise in the sensor readings is going to be only amplified by this numerical differentiation scheme. So we might want to uh, low pass filter the error derivative estimate. So that's in the domain of digital signal processing. And the sim simplest thing you could do is just take the past n estimates of E dot and average them, and that would give you a smoother signal for E dot. Another thing you can do is here in the integral term, imagine that the arm is trying to control up to 90 degrees, but you've blocked it and prevented it from moving, and you've blocked it for a long period of time. Then that error is going to integrate up for a long period of time, give you a very large signal here, and then when you let go of the arm finally, it's going to use all that torque to try to get rid of that integrated error, and the arm is going to overshoot and perhaps oscillate wildly. So in practice, you want to limit how much uh, integral error there actually is to prevent this wild overshoot effect. So here, if we take e int, the e int and then limit it, then we can get rid of some of that effect. And finally, down here, when we're calculating u, in practice, there's uh, going to be limits on the controls that we can command. There's going to be a finite torque that we can apply at the shoulder, for example. So if we calculate u should be 100 newton meters, but the most we can get out of the motor is 5 newton meters, we're going to have to uh, cap it before we send it to the motor controller. So we're going to want to limit u. So we take these two values, take the value of e int, saturate it at some maximum values, calculate u. If that exceeds some maximum values, then we have to saturate that before we send it to uh, the controller or to whatever is implementing the control signal. 